So now we're ready to actually begin our first project. Let me first begin by showing you what the completed item will look like. And this is it right here. This is our dishcloth. You can see that it has a design around the edge. It also is done in a diagonal pattern. And the stitches that I'm going to show you next, they're very simple, but they'll give you this completed project. You can make this any size that you want. You can make it larger to make it as like a chamois kind of to drive your car at the car wash. You can do it this size. I like this size for um, doing dishes. Um, you can even do it a little bit smaller if you want something for kind of a scrubber. But the size, the instructions that I'm going to give you today are for the dishcloth size and your completed, your completed dishcloth should measure approximately 10 inches by 10 inches when it's complete. Okay, so let's get ready to begin again. We're going to start with that slip knot. We're going to wrap it around two fingers. Pull your fingers out bring it from behind, pull it through to make the loop, and pull. Go ahead and slide that onto your needle. The needles that I'm using today are size 7. You can actually see on the end of your needle up here, it'll tell you the size of the needle. Some of the needles have the information right here up near the top, and some of them have the information right here on the head. In order to begin our next project, we're going to only cast on five stitches. The reason we're only going to cast on five stitches is because if you remember when you looked at this initially, you could see that it goes in a diagonal pattern. We're going to start out down here with only just a few stitches on, and then we're going to increase until we get up to the entire width, and then we're going to decrease again to get to our final size. Okay, so we're ready to begin by casting on our first five stitches. So let's go ahead and begin by putting our fingers between the yarn, separating them, and then holding with our other fingers like this to cast on. First point at your thumb, wrap around, secure, point at your finger, wrap around, secure, pull it through the loop, release your thumb, and pull. Now remember, we're counting our slip knot as our first stitch, so now we have one two stitches on our needle. We only need a total of five to begin. So again, point at your thumb, wrap around and secure, finger around secure, through, and pull. There's three, there's four, and five. Okay, now that you have five stitches on your needle, we're ready to begin. Bring in your second needle, wrap around your small finger, and we're going to do the garter stitch, and if you remember right, on the garter stitch, that means that we are going to knit every row. So there will be no purling in this project at all. So begin by coming in from the left-hand side of the stitch, from the front to the back, pushing through, wrap your yarn around from behind, bring the yarn through, and off your needle. You're going to knit this entire first row. So you're going to knit five stitches, I'm on three and four and five. Turn and begin again. We're going to knit two rows of five stitches and then we're going to begin our increase. So we've just knit our first row. Let's knit our second row again from the front, making sure that your yarn is behind because we're knitting, not purling. Go through the process again and do five stitches on this row. So front to back, around, through, and off. Okay? So once you finish these first two rows of garter stitch, that's knit every stitch, now we'll begin the part where the pattern will begin to show. Thanks for watching. Click on the next step or replay to watch another video and please rate, comment, and subscribe. You can also visit AmericanKnitter.com to purchase the knitting DVD set.